We are the Braxtons and you'll see that we are not like an ordinary family. Tony, Tracy, to one, Trina, Tamar, and Miss Eve will teach you a thing or two. Oh, Braxton family values. Hello, Home Slices is here with Home Slice Adulting coming to you with my review for Braxton Family Values, Season 6, Episode 19, titled Sister Secrets. Now, originally, I wasn't going to do a review on this, but I'm about halfway through the episode, and I am actually really enjoying it. For the first time in a long time, we are seeing the sisters get along a lot better than they are used to. The two sisters that have the most um, amount of contention between them, Tamar and Tracy, are getting along as well. So I was like, you know what, since they are moving in a positive direction and I am enjoying seeing them in their, you know, the, the full glory of their sisterhood, that I would go ahead and do this review. So... Thank you for clicking on this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to share the video with somebody who you think will like it. So um, uh, the sisters start off having this, you know, um, sister dinner, eating crabs, and everything looked good, and um, talking about how almost all of them are like betrothed like besides Tracy who's been married for a very long time we have Tony whose uh, impending nuptials have been impending for a long time um and then we have uh Tamar who's getting a divorce but who was also booed up as we saw on the previous episode we have um Trina who is dating Vaughn and just visited his family Excuse me, on the last episode. I'm sorry that I keep coming to you all while I'm tired, but I'm always tired, apparently. So, um, and also we have Tawanda, who's been dating somebody for a year. In this episode, we actually find out who it is. And apparently it is somebody that they all knew. And as much as Tamar kind of annoys me, because I feel like she has this very immature type of attitude i enjoy our i so far and i'm about halfway through the episode i am enjoying tamar's detective work she managed to figure out who tawana was dating <laughs> and that just tickled me that tickled me so much and i am really enjoying tamar on this particular episode um, which is so unusual. Um, and then we have, you know, Trina, who is in her full glow and glory and of being in love and whatnot. And um, Tracy and Tamar are getting along and things are just going really well. And say what you want to say about the whole Iyanla process. But, you know, regardless of who you know, um, liked it versus didn't like it or who thought it worked for them or didn't work for them. It had some type of effect on their sisterhood and now they are back together. So, you know, uh, all's well that ends well, right? So I'm going to be back to review more of this episode. Peace out. All right, y'all. So I just finished watching the entire episode of Braxton Family Values. And if you can't tell, I'm a little sniffly because, um, at this point, I thought maybe Gabe had already passed away, but um, because we all know that he actually passed away. And it's really hard to reconcile these um, reality shows that get taped so far in advance and try to figure out the timeline. But either way it goes, at this point, um, we there's Trina's birthday party. You can tell she's not really into it. And it's so weird because Tamar was really you know, a detective and a super sleuth when it came to finding out Tawanda's boo. And she did a really good job at that, but didn't really investigate too much into why Trina didn't seem to be in the best spirits at her birthday party. So um, everybody seems to like Vaughn. Vaughn was very complimentary to Trina. They seem to really be in love, which is great. Again, I think Vaughn's a bit boring, but, um, it's hard when a, in a relationship when both people have like these really fun, explosive personalities. So you need one who's kind of more chill and then you need the turn up person. So I guess they balance each other out. Um, but then, you know, sister time came around for them to have their um, uh, slumber party and Trina just couldn't hold it back anymore. And something weird happened. They asked him to turn the mics off and turn the cameras off. 
But then we see them having a conversation with the cameras on and with the mics on. Don't know what happened in between there. But the point is that in a matter of weeks, uh, Gabe was diagnosed with kidney cancer, stage four, um, which we all know is the, the most aggressive and is basically terminal. And in a matter of weeks, he went from being okay to not being okay. And um, it really made Trina appreciate her life. And, you know, her sisters were there for her to, you know, comfort her through that. And at that point, she hadn't even really told her kids. And I, I just felt really bad for Trina losing somebody who, you know, forget all the stuff that we know about her relationship with Gabe and how tumultuous it was and how bad the divorce was and all that stuff. And they finally got to a good place and, you know, they had their Ayala episode, which seemed to, you know, help them put their stuff back together. And, you know, just a, a little time later, he gets cancer and, you know, we know now that he has passed away and it was, it was just so sad. And, um, I really hope that them coming together, um, being back together and rebuilding their sisterhood. I think it came at the right time so they could support Trina. So that was just really unfortunate and really sad and got a tear or two out of me uh, because life is just so fragile. It really is. So um, that's my super quick review for Braxton Family Values. Thank you all for watching and peace out, Home Slices.